hello guys welcome once again last time I have shown you how to use charts with your visual C++ windows form application in this video I will show you how to link the database values with this this chart so what I'm going to do is when I press this load chart button which I have used in the last video it should take the values from the database which are these values name column and age column and it will plot the name versus age graph into your chart panel so how can we do it let's see first of all just double click this load chart button which we have created in the last video and we have written this code last time so I will just remove this code because we don't require this code now and if you remember in the video number 12 and video number 14 I have shown you how to link your database with the combo box and how to link your database with the list box so just go there and just copy the same code from there for which I have used for the combo box or the list box you can use either of them so this is the fill combo method which I have created in the video number 12 where I have linked uh, the combo box with the database so if you don't know this code just go and watch that video and you know how to create this code so I will just copy this code from string to the end of the catch block and I will go to the method of my load chart event and I will paste this code I will just run through the code very quickly here we are linking the code with the database and at what port and what are the username and password of the database here we are making the connection and here we are passing the queries select star from database dot table so my database name is database itself and table name is edata which is here and connection database which is this variable and if you want you can just pause this video and copy the code okay just copy the same code and then just delete this two things list box and combo box I don't need them I just need the values which we are retrieving from the database and go there in between the while loop this is the while loop and here we are taking these values and in here write this code this arrow pointer chart one arrow pointer series and your series name which was age we have set age earlier in the last video so in this video also name of the series is age and don't remember to change this series name in the above declaration also here if you haven't seen the last video you can just change it here mm, charts 
this one series one name is equal to age by default it's series one but you need to change it with a your series name so in my case this is age it's on the top it's created automatically so default value is series one for that just return to your code and in here we have written this line this chart arrow pointer series series name arrow pointer points add x y and in this bracket I want to show the name versus age graph so you see I have name and ages in the database and I am retrieving this name and age from my database in these variables but I don't want to use these variable so I will copy this whole code my reader arrow pointer get string name and I will paste in this bracket so this is this will take the names from the database and put it into the chart and I will take this my reader get int 32 age you don't need dot to string because this we are using for taking the value in this string form so we just need my reader and get int 32 so copy and paste it here so this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis okay name versus age so this line will take the name and age from the database and load into chart one and let's try and run the program it was if it works or not so my username and password and when I press this load button my data should appear here so load chart and you see from the database it takes all the values and show it into my chart I can verify this by seeing my database John John two times Patrick Jill Hassan Nee Mark and all the same names are here and their ages are here okay so in this way you can link your chart with the database and if you want to know more about chart please watch my last video I have shown how to use the properties of chart with this chart so I hope you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now